GCSE and A-level results are coming out early this year. They are coming out on the 10th and the 12th instead of later on in August and being a week apart. Now the reason they are coming out early is because they are expecting there to be lots of appeals and they want universities, schools, colleges to have time for those appeals to take place before students need to move on to university, before students need to move on to their college courses or sixth form courses and they, they expect there to be a lot so they're giving schools time to go through those appeals. So what do you need to know, what information do you need and what dates are important for this? Appeals this year are free and lots of schools are preparing for way more appeals than normal, partly because they're free and partly because of the way that um, results were decided this year. Now the really really important thing to remember before you appeal your results is that results can go down as well as going up appealing your results doesn't automatically mean that your results are going to go up that they're going to get higher they could stay the same or they could even go down so there is always a risk associated with this but if you decide that you are going to appeal your results the first thing you will need to do is get all the bits of information together and there are four bits of information that you will need you will need your school or your college policy on how they decided grades you would then need the bits of evidence that your school or college used to decide your grades. So was it your mock paper? Was it in class tests? Was it stuff that you'd done online? You will need then the marks or grades that you were awarded for those bits of um, evidence. So for your, for your mock, for example. And then you will need um, to know any allowances that the school or college applied to you and maybe to the centre as a whole to take into account circumstances. So when we're talking about circumstances it's not just the fact that schools closed and everyone had a difficulty accessing online education but things that were personalised to you. Did they give you an allowance because you had two weeks off school being really really ill with Covid or did they take into account that a few members of your family died during the pandemic? These are important things that should have been taken into account. So you need to know this information. Now, once you have those four bits of information, the policy, what evidence, what grade you got for the evidence and any allowances that were taken into account. Once you have that information, there are two stages of appeal that you need to go through. The first stage of appeal is appealing to your school or your college. Now, this is going to be checking um, to see if there was an admin error and checking to see if the school policy was applied correctly. For example, um, on one of your mock papers, say you got a 73, but they accidentally typed a 37 into the spreadsheet, that's a drastically different grade. That sort of thing is really easy for schools to check. They can go, they can go back and look at the original data and say, yes, look, we've made a mistake. We'll put the appeal in and we'll sort it out for you. Or if they decided um, that they didn't apply policy correctly, that they didn't take into account um, your personal circumstances or for some reason that internal quality control wasn't done for this particular subject, then that is another place where the school could go, yes, okay, um, we've made a mistake here, we can go back and correct it. Now, those kind of appeals, in my opinion, are going to be very, very rare. Because schools are a check the data, they will have double check the data, they will have triple check the data. The sort of place where this sort of error would come in would be, say, if you had lots of cover teachers, if you had lots of teachers that were coming in and going, and maybe teachers that weren't around for very long, teachers that have left, and there was a lot of gaps, a lot of changes, a lot of inconsistencies in the teaching, that is the sort of place where this type of mistake, like an admin error, would creep in. If you've had the same teacher the whole way through, it's very, very stable to harm them, I'm going to imagine that they did a lot of quality control. So that sort of admin error wouldn't come in. Now, if you are still not happy with your grades after the first appeal, then your school 
can appeal to the exam boards for you. You cannot go and talk directly to the exam boards, the school has to do it for you. Now, the school could say no, but it is very, very unlikely the school are going to do that because this is the policy that they've been put in place and the school would have no real reason to say no, that they won't appeal for, on your behalf to the exam boards. But the school has to be done. It has to be done through the school, through the exams officer probably. Now, for school appeals, you have until the 16th of August for priority appeals. Now, priority appeals are going to be for like A-level students who need to get that grade to get into university, or GC students who need to get into college. And then there are going to be the other appeals, and for those you have until the 3rd of September. Now, if you are going to be appealing to the exam boards, you have a little bit longer. Priority appeals until the exam board until the 23rd of August, and other appeals until the 17th of September. Now, there are three reasons why your school would appeal to the exam board on your behalf. Now, the first two of them we've kind of covered already, because that's going to be an admin error, or the fact that they didn't apply the policy correctly. And your schools should just take care of this for you. The third reason why the schools would apply is if you think there has been an unreasonableness in academic judgments from your teachers when deciding your grades. And that is where the exam boards would then go and look at the evidence, look at the data, and then the exam boards would decide your grades. Now, it is really, really important to remember that your grades can go down on appeal not always going to go up and that um because we are expecting so many um appeals this year not just to schools but to the exam boards as well this is not going to be a quick process so if you are putting in a priority appeal if you are relying on this appeal to get into um university or get into college then it might not happen in time and you might be in a circumstance where you actually lose your place it is horribly horribly unfair but unfortunately we do see this sort of thing happen all the time if you are putting in a priority appeal against your grades then you need to get in contact with your university or your college where you want to go to as soon as quickly to make sure they don't give away your place because generally this will all happen on results day very very quickly and they're not gonna leave your place open leave it hanging around for a couple of weeks just in case. So if you are putting in a priority appeal, please get in contact with the people that um, you're, you're planning on going to, to tell them this. Now appeals to the exam boards um, are going to take a lot longer. They are still free, but the exam boards will need to go through all of the evidence. Now all of this evidence should be stored somewhere um, at school. However, if you did a mock in March or November or whenever it was, and that's one of the bits of evidence, and the exam boards want to see that actual mock paper, well, fingers crossed your school can find it because if they filed it in the right place and the teacher is in the country and isn't on holiday, um, because remember there's no requirements for every single teacher to be in dealing with exam appeals on results day because exam appeals are normally the head of a department or the exams officer's job. Teachers are not expected to be in school on results day to deal with appeals. So they should be able to find all the evidence that they need um, quickly, but they might not be able to. And this is one thing that could hinder the appeals. Um, do Please do not email your teachers asking for this evidence because chances are they are not checking their emails. It is the summer holidays. It is the exams officer. That is the person you need to be talking to and then even potentially the head of the department. Um, so, lots and lots of information for you to take on board, guys. Um, I'm going to be around, like, the whole time, um, all of this week. Um, Tuesday for any results day, and then Thursday for GCSE results day. Um, just try to answer as many questions as I can for you guys. Um, good luck.